So I hello this is Alan the Forex algo trader again and in today's video or today's lesson we will be looking at uh, an another extensive topic or or le let me just call it subtopic in this case. So on our previous videos we were doing the on our lessons in this case eh, we were doing the MQL5 language B6 uh, lessons or learning in this case. So where we had covered the first two subtopics so on this case we will be covering the third subtopic in this case where it will be the operations and expressions in that case so from now we can uh, to get maybe just started today's video will be just quick and short because it is just matters of introduction and all that b6 so just go ahead and click on the IDE, this little IDE icon over there, which will now open Meta Editor for you. So from there, we will just expand the Expert Advisor folder, the Experts folder. Then we can now continue from our MQL5 Language B6 folder. So just over or just go over the MQL5 Language B6 folder, which we had already created. Then click on New. Expert advisor from template, click on next, then that does not provide the file name. So in this case, we'll be covering the expressions. Expressions, then from there, just click on next, next, and then finally finish. So I'll just expand this one. Then since we do not, it is just basically like a, this is now like our whiteboard in this case. So we don't have much to do in it with the code. So it is just for the purposes of learning only in this case. So on our today's lesson, we'll just be learning, uh, it is basically on the C, it is, maybe I can just call it C, then operations and expressions. That is not our, our subtopic. So the first, under, under our subtopic, we will, we are now going to learn about the expressions. So maybe I can just move a step ahead then. Expressions. Just simple as that one. So basically, uh, an expression. So an expression, it, it consists, consists of one or more. one or more operates and operation symbols something like that one so from there uh, that is what basically an expression means so maybe uh, what is the term that maybe we can explain what is an operand so an operand on the other end an operand is equals to now it is a uh, just a basic uh, explanation of what an operand is is that it is a quantity just a quantity to which an operator is applied in this case a quantity to which an operator is uh, is applied in this case so an example not that one just move ahead so an example of what we mean by this one is uh, something like maybe in just like an example in or you can just write eg for example it is like uh, maybe in in a three just a small maybe yeah three maybe plus maybe three plus one in this case uh, in some example, maybe in this case, uh, just a random example, maybe the plus one, I can just maybe put this one in a bracket, include it in a bracket. However, no, let me just leave the brackets alone for easier understanding. So, in for an example where we have maybe three plus one in that case, the, the operates of the addition now, maybe the operates of the addition where the addition is this plus sign which is not there plus sign or plus symbol which is there the operates of the addition of the addition 
uh, operator of the addition operator in this case now r uh, maybe i can have the colon over there r three and three and one where even we do not even need to even have something like one we can have like something like three plus x three plus x so our operators of the addition operator in this case will be three and x just something like that one something which is now super super easy or super simple in that manner so that is now basically what the operand means in an expression so an expression maybe as we can maybe move on again we can basically come here and say that uh, an uh, an expression can again be written or expressed in in several lines something like that one so maybe like uh, an example of what we mean by this one we can have something like a and then plus plus maybe a plus a uh, a plus uh, we, we are really using a plus <laughs> the the plus sign operator in this case maybe you can a a plus b something like that one is equals to maybe 10 something just just a random number then we can have the semicolon there basically this is not the rule we discussed this one on our previous lesson what the reason as to why we have this one so this one basically means it is now uh, uh it now represents maybe something like uh, like what this is just one operator we can have another operator ahead of it maybe like uh, c we have a b where then we have c is equals to maybe 32 just a random number then we can as well have that uh, we have x did we use x no yeah we can then use it now so x is equals to maybe a plus c yeah something like that one you can just have a, a quick sexy operation like that one so right now what we have done is that we have several we have several expressions located on on or in yeah the right word to use is in one line of code line of code something like that one that is now that we have several operations several expressions which we have this first expression then we have the second expression as well as we have the third expression over there just like that one super easy then this one cannot be as well repre be represented in another line of code maybe something like uh, like what something like what i'm trying to figure out something anything else we can have something like x where do we have x so we can have x now is equals to maybe y then divided it by then instead of having to write maybe x is equals to y divided by something like z that is now we can have then you end it with a semicolon we can have it in this way in or in this manner where we have this is now like uh, having an expression in just one line we can break this one and have it like like that one so this one will represent y x is equals to y over z or y divided by z either way it just makes sense in this case or in this manner so what we have done here is that uh, we have uh, we have one expression we have like one expression divided divided yeah that is now the correct wording we have one expression divided into several lines so you, with this is just something that you can use now to create like a complex maybe you can have complex uh, uh, just complex things on the mql5 or 
meta editor in this case so we can have something like z plus one two three something like that one then you end it with a semicolon of course so right now what you have maybe have seen or have noticed and you should be have noticed it is that maybe i can have it as an nb that is now not something like that one that an expression we can have it now like a, an expression that ends with the with a, a semi colon in this case it looks like this is what the semicolon looks like is an you can have now the guess operator that is not the operator an expression that ends with a semicolon in this case now becomes an operator automatically so yeah that is all now that you need to to maybe know maybe like uh, maybe like uh, for an example the, an example that we can have from now here is that we can define something like a double x maybe x is equals to 10 plus maybe yeah maybe x we have double a then we have another double double b In this case now we can maybe initialize it to something like 100 then we have another double uh, x is equals to a plus is equals to now a plus b yeah maybe then we do not have an initialized a in this case so we can have we can initialize a is equals to a basic value like a three in this case so in this case then we have in this case having left it like that one it is neither an expression nor an operator it is basically it is an expression but not an operator in this case so having this uh, semicolon at the end of the expression that makes it now an operator in this case so from there we can have something like uh, uh, maybe you can have something like c double c is equals to maybe c uh, is equals to just a basic expression maybe one two something like that one yeah something like that one so you can maybe let me just comment this one out in a multi-line comment so that we do not have errors while compiling is that no yeah something like that one now so if we were to compile this one it should compile fine without errors and warnings then from there we can then maybe say like a print print uh, maybe x then add with a semicolon to make it an operator then wow we really missed something okay i get it i get it <laughs> i do get it what we this is basically that we are doing this one on a global scope so we cannot just go ahead and just print something out of nowhere so what we have here is that uh, we can have the final maybe final equation final okay can have it as a double type integer then final equation or final answer something just simple like that one we can have the final answer like a maybe we can have a a uh, times we can maybe even multiply a times b then divide that one so we can maybe put it in a bracket divide that one by c divide, maybe maybe you can have x divided by x divided by c something like that or just 
to take care of everything that we have in the bracket, something like that one. Then we can end that one with a semicolon, just simple like that one. So we can now move ahead to the maybe on init function and print that one on init. So on no, then call our function. So the final answer. Maybe you can just print the final answer like super easy print final answer something like that one then we can compile it and try to run this one on a strategy tester and see the difference that we will have so now to open the strategy tester click on the not that one so i'll just go back over here again you can just go to view then strategy tester then from there we can now over down to our you can just go to overview visualize then from there we'll just expand this one a little bit then from there just choose your uh, our file which is now based on what did we call it expressions over here exactly then from there we can just start our expert advisor and see the expression that you get so in this case we get this kind of expression this uh, answer that 4.95 something like that one so let us now try to move ahead again so I'll just go back try to move ahead again to our answer over here then write it in a, this is now on the what did we call it Th this is now an expression which is on the on a single line so we can have it on another line the same expression divided we can then divide it into multiple lines something like that one so from there what we can now have we can just push that one up to that point then i can just compile it again so as you can see it just compiles fine then from there we can just go back run this one on the strategy test again and see that there is really no difference you can see it gives us the same answer again that 4.95 and the rest of the decimals which are there ahead of it. So you can see there is really no any difference. So maybe as an implementation of, of uh, this ex use of expressions is that you can use it on, uh, on a, is that you can use this kind of expression where you have two long words. As you can see, we can have maybe something like, uh, something like what? I can just copy this one, then, no, not really. So we can have something like, yeah, it is just the same thing. Can just copy this one and then have it on a on a large line. As you can see, this this uh, this line is something that is endless. So we will just go go and go 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 and go. So you can see this column. This uh, we just call it a line. It is something that is endless. This line is endless. So instead of having to just maybe having to scroll over your code up to the end of the up to the end of the of the column in this case, so you can just have uh, line breaks, something like that one. Then you can break it so so such that in a way that it just fits into your into your uh, what do i call it the meta editor interface coding interface something like that one so that is all that you needed to know in this video that is uh, something which is super easy but very effective when having to code it is just something that is that you just need to know in this case so that is all that is now the end of this video so on the next section we'll now be focusing on the types of arithm of uh, operators in this case so where we have something like arithmetic operators the assignment operators and yeah we'll just know them on on our following lessons so that is all bye bye till next time